Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my videos and what a week it has been. Oh my gosh, I think it's safe to say the art pop era has pretty much started. Applause please! seen my last videos, um, particularly my last one, my reaction to listening to the applause, the song by itself that came out last Monday, um, that was that was amazing. But what was even more amazing was the fact that on yesterday on Monday, the applause music video got released officially on GMA. And I, I still can't get over it. I'm still refreshing the page. I'm still I can't stop watching it. It is just it has so many artistic levels, and there's so much going on in every single scene, in every single frame. The outfits, the makeup, the costumes, the, the meanings to it, the, the really in-depth amount of like metaphor and. Oh my god, like, you could just write an essay on on what different things mean in relation to different things in the video. It's crazy, it's, it's amazing and it, it definitely really puts it out there as like the proper smashing through into the new era, it really does. Okay, so I thought it'd be kind of good to sort of just have a bit of a run through of some of the differing looks in the video, some of my favourite ones. Um, some of the ones that really stand out, um, to be honest all of them stand out, but yeah. So to start with the look at the beginning when it's black and white and we see her on a mattress um, on, on the floor like with brown hair and just like dressed in white lingerie. Um, this look for me it sort of took me back to Stephanie days, like it's her starting out. Um, just like at the beginning of her career um, and she did she I think she has mentioned before that when she she like practiced dancing lying down um, when she was injured and like recovering so and um, and she always seems to be like on all fours when she's she's about to start dancing so I think this sort of could sort of represent her at the start on her journey on her career like about to jump into this massive artistic vision of epicness, <laughs> but yeah, I I love I love that look. I, I really like the um, on the V magazine the, the sort of the, the cover where she looks like Jane Jett and she's wearing jeans and like a big red sequin jacket, and like it's that sort of grungy look that I sort of I like, quite warm to. So yeah, let me know if that one was your favourite. Moving on, one of my other favourite looks from the music video was the one where you see her turning around like this and like staring into the camera and she looks like, it's like a mix between Edward Scissorhands and Bellatrix the Strange from Harry Potter and it looks absolutely amazing and it looks like she looks crazy and she looks demented, like, and it just sort of like reinforces the fact that like her as an artist that she's got all these bad ideas and it just sort of makes her crazy. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I just really love that look and uh, the look in her eyes. It's just like, oh my god, you looking at me, bitch. Ah. Uh. It's it's amazing. I just I just really that look just really it's just really I don't know what the word is, just really jumps out. Um and especially use when it's used at the beginning, it's really like, hey, like pay attention sort of thing. So um yeah, that's that amazing look. Um 
Another another look that I really liked was the one where she has the yellow hair and she's in the cage. And uh, this one. A lot of people were saying that she it's like a throwback to the Monster Ball era where she had like the short yellow hair when she was performing on stage with it. Which would make sense. Um but other people on the other hand are saying it's sort of like a decayed Marilyn Monroe sort of thing. Um, I'm not sure what to think of that theory, but like again, you can interpret it on different levels, um, and the fact that she's in a cage—it's like, do you remember when she did a sketch for the? She wrote the lyrics of the applause song, and then she sketched out like um, what would be like a stage, and like a a cage was there. So hint, hint towards the VMAs, and the fact that she's in a cage, I think. Maybe a suggestive of the fact that she looks really crazy and the fact that maybe that era in her career, the Monster Ball era, is so iconic and it's what made her and it's what got people to recognise her. And maybe it's saying that she sort of feels trapped by that era because it's so difficult to climb out of and that she finds it hard to progress into a new person, into a different artist because so many people still cling on to that image, maybe. And it's probably why she's still... She's wearing the same sort of costume as as from the Monster Ball as well, so it's probably like... She's sort of like a freak show and she's getting really psychotic because she's sort of been in stasis in that way for a, a long time. But I think that look by itself is amazing. It really like the makeup and like the smeary, dirty look on her face. It's really, oh, it's just like so psychotic as well. It's so dark. The fact the whole video is just made up of like light and dark, but at the same time the light is like has darkness oozing from it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Okay, yeah, this next one is when it properly, when the song properly kicks in, when she has the hands on her boobs and like around her neck. Um, and it's again black and white, a black and white scene and she's got the gloves on and she's doing all this, like Illuminati with her hands. Um, interpret that as you will. But again, this is when it properly breaks down and you see some epic choreo. This is some amazing choreo. And you wouldn't have thought from watching this video that she'd have had a hip surgery like six months ago, would you? It is flawless and oh, oh my god, I have to say, one of my favourite moments, I think one of my personal favourite moment in this part of the video is when you see her and she's really tall and then she just shrinks down and the dancers come either side of her and they just break into this absolutely immense dance routine and there's clapping and oh I, I can't it's sorry I'm getting so over excited it's amazing and she it just screams attitude at you and it's just like let's just fucking dance and party because I want you to be entertained by me, I want you to have a good time and I just want to see you smile because that's exactly what she wants and after all that has happened I can't imagine that would be any the less true. Um, I mean like again it, it's just, it's, most of people, most of fans have been commenting that it sort of reminds them of Alejandro a little bit which would make sense because, again, you've got the black and white and um, a sort of similar hairstyle. Um, I like that fact though. I like the fact that it's sort of reminiscent of Alejandro and to an extent Born This Way because those were quite, those were good videos. So I'm glad that she's sort of maybe taken some inspiration from that, from those videos and sort of twisted it into something new, which is a great, but again, I have to just reinforce the fact that that, that choreo, Richie Jackson, props to you for being so amazingly talented at this choreo, because it is amazing. Now we can move on. So another look 
I know we're not necessarily moving in order, but loads of people have been commenting on this particular look, and I probably know what I'm going to say, but a bird slash goose slash swan, you want to say swan, um, with the head thing. Uh, I think everyone was sort of saying it, it was um, sort of like a, the black swan and like a symbol of sort of, I don't know, but this part comes at the point in the verse where she's saying, um, one second I'm a coons, then suddenly the coons is me, referring to the sculpture and our artist. Jeff Coons, and I think he's done some like work with um, sort of balloon shaped bird swan sculptures. So I think it's sort of an homage to him, maybe. And other people sort of are saying that it's like a rebirth because she's coming out of an egg that is furry. But I don't mind this part because I've been reading some reviews of on the media on you know like some magazines and they've just been like what the fuck is is the swan part of it what the fuck does that mean like they have no clue and they just think it's bizarre like totally bizarre and they just take it as like oh it's another crazy gaga gimmick like I don't take it as that I just appreciate it as art for what it is so yeah that's what I think. Um, but, to be honest, if that isn't my favourite part, and I'm glad that it only lasts for about five seconds and you don't see it again, because, sorry, that's just my So thing. yet another look in this myriad of Gaga looks in this video is the one that we have seen before um, in the first promo picture we got of her for the art pop era, the one where she had sort of tawny brownish hair. And it's just like flowing everywhere and it's very natural looking and she's not really wearing any makeup and she's pretty naked in the scene. Um I loved this look actually. It was it really showed off how natural she was and she's been saying this uh, in a few interviews now that she really being naked and nude really sort of is able makes it able for her to express herself more and just be at one with um, her body like she did with the uh, Marina Abramovich uh, me method like long duration method um, when she was naked in the forest like just she could just be really natural and not have any makeup and just be her and I just really loved it because she in all those points when she looked like that she looked really happy and she was smiling and she was dancing and she just looked she looked so at one with herself and I just really loved that I mean it just said so much and it just proves that she sometimes she she doesn't need to be so overburdened with all these crazy looks she can just be herself and especially in relation with the connection to the fans, that we, we don't care what she looks like, she can have any look that she wants and we can still appreciate her for who she is on the, on the inside. And I think that's sort of on some level saying that at that point. Um, and with the, like, the, sea the seashells on her boobs and like the floating thing to cover her area. That was beautiful. She looked like a mermaid and it was just really liberating and natural and just her dancing around feeling free made me feel free. It was just beautiful and I really loved it. Um, but yeah you can tell me what you think of it and um, if it was one of your favourites too by putting down in the comments. So this is the last this is the last one that I'm gonna go into some detail about because it's a quite a, a big part of the video. The, the bridge part, which is sort of towards the end, where she is in this sort of purple tunnel uh, and she looks a bit like a zombie bride and people thought that she was trying to be Cher, but I don't think that's the case. 
Um, it's been said that she is sort of like a woman like representing empowerment because if you notice she is dragging behind her um, as she's walking she's dragging like a, a bouquet of flowers along with what looks to be a detached leg which would be quite like it links very much to the fact that the whole hip issue she is carrying her her broken hip her broken body behind her and it's like a burden to her and she she's having a rough time carrying it and um it's like a struggle and a journey and that she's sort of having difficulty with and then in the next few frames it's sort of as the sort of it builds a bit more and you get a crescendo it's like a triumph and like a victory and you see like a massive glitter explosion and her holding up her leg in the air which would symbolize like her beating back her her struggle with her with her past and like her recent struggle with her hip um, but all of that of course has some massive deeper level that we can all look into <laughs> um, and then um, the bouquet of flowers I think is connected to the fact that when on on stage when when you finish um, people throw bouquets of flowers on stage to you for an encore so it's like she is getting the applause from us and she is getting the approval and the appreciation from us for her to carry on and keep going and progress and like keep keep performing give me the thing that I love put your hands up make them touch I mean how much more literal can you get I mean that's that's basically the whole point of video she wants us to clap for her she wants us to be happy and rejoice within the performance, be part of the performance with her. Um, I mean, in a sense, we're, we're part of the video, in a sense. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's, that's part of the message and what she's trying to say with all these other different looks that some I haven't actually mentioned. Um, like the clown for instance, like it's just a, basically a message saying that she is endlessly transformative. She is so many different images and icons, she can be anybody at any different time. She doesn't have to be just one person, some fixed entity, she can change like that and you can probably see it when, when she just sort of puffs into a ball of yellow smoke and disappears and then suddenly she's somebody else. That just shows how she can just twist and turn into something else by use of magic. That's what it is, it's magic and she's just like ugh, blowing the ball out of the court and I, I love it. I love it and to begin with when I first heard the, the song by itself without the video I thought that the song was too short. I thought it was too short, it was 3 minutes 30, it sounded like just your average generic slapdash pop song. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that's what I thought, that was my immediate thought, I was like, it's too short, it needs to have at least another 30 seconds. Um, and it needs to have like another chorus or something. But watching after watching the video, I guess Gaga was right when she was like, I prefer the video and the song to come out at the same time because it's all about the visual. She was right because when, after I'd watched the video I thought to myself this song doesn't need anything else. I, It stands on its own perfectly, it doesn't need anything adding to it. It's just so perfectly contained and it says everything that it needs to say in just this this perfect video. Um, yeah, that that's that's all I really have to have to say. Um, of course, I, I know I've probably missed 
loads out and this video has probably gone on for quite a while because I rant so much about my all my thoughts and my opinions and I you've probably got on board. Congratulations on getting to this point but I'm going to stop now and I want to hear what you have to say and um, what are your particular favourite moments? You, you surely have one. Um, like what do you think of the video? Um, do you have any, like what are your favourite looks? Your favourite fashion pieces? There's just so much to say about this video. You could go on for hours talking about it, which I probably have to. I'm going to shut up. Um, so, well done monsters for getting this far. I feel like we've achieved a lot together. And I hope I see some of you soon. And we surely will be getting more Gaga news very, very soon. If not tomorrow, or today. So, pause up, put your hands up, make in touch. And I'll see you soon. Bye.